Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Road to WWE 2K23. Today we're doing Daniel Bryan Showcase. And it looked like I completed it, but I'm going back. The cutscenes is going to fucking um Right after I graduated high school, I moved from please. Washington down to Texas to train at Michael's like, school. For like three seconds. It wasn't too long after that that I was signed by WWE. When I first got signed by WWE in 2000, I had no idea really what to expect. Most of the guys. Yeah, I told you. TV had been wrestling for years and years, and at that point, I'd only been wrestling for six months. Since I was still really new to all this, I was sent to hone my craft at WWE's developmental territory, which at the time was in Memphis. Luckily, William Regal was a trainer there, and he helped me out a lot. So, with the WWE contract and Hall of Fame trainers, Brian Danielson was on the fast track to success, right? Oh. No, not quite. I was released in 2001, the first time I was released by WWE. It was really hard actually because I really didn't know what to do. William Regal told me this is a chance to learn. This is a chance to go travel the world, find who you are as a wrestler and find who you are as a person. So I went back to the Indies and touring in Japan. But soon after that, in 2003, Brian Danielson made his triumphant return to WWE. Well, sort of. Brian Danielson from Aberdeen, Washington. I returned for some one-off matches on WWE's weekend shows, Sunday Night Heat and Velocity. I like this tool. Look at that. Nice monkey flip. Well, you know, this Brian Danielson is a very accomplished young man. We've seen him in the past, and he's very, very good. I didn't really have a goal other than it was good exposure on TV. And one of these matches happened to be against a young up-and-comer named John Cena. Surely, this would be my big break, right? Welcome, everybody, to WWE Velocity. Michael Cole here alongside Corey Graves and Byron Saxton. We kick things off with John Cena against a local competitor named... This could end it in a hurry. He looked, wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Come on, we can do it. Oh, what impact. Full Nelson. In control of Cena, right back to the arm. Great strategy, weaken the poor, powerful Cena by taking away one of his arms. And Brian sticking to his wheelhouse, not taking any unnecessary risks here against John Cena. Oh, just looking to control and neutralize the. I'm sorry man. that is choppy, but my computer is acting stupid. Brian continues to work on the arm, but now Cena. It's with this game. Every other game is good. Absolutely not. Cover here and a kick out. And again, Cena powering Danielson down. Oh, look at this incredible core strength by Danielson. Cena cannot believe that he can't get Danielson's shoulders on the mat. Gonna try it again, and Danielson able to come off. And sends Cena flying. Incredible sequence. Oh, man, Cena just took Danielson's head off. As we say, sometimes there's no replacement for brute force. Oh, Oh, nasty impact. John Cena has shown his strength there in the early going, getting the upper hand on Danielson. Yeah, Danielson's got some technical skill, but he's starting to be overwhelmed by Cena's brute force. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. I think Cena is a little surprised by the offense of this relative unknown. Cena's new attitude, man. Made him overlook Danielson, but if he refocuses, he should easily take control back here. What a stop! Good grief! Oh, 
Oh, chin breaking uppercut. Starting to set in for Cena. This could be a huge upset right here. I'm seeing Shades of Razor Ramon on Raw in 1993, guys. A high flying nobody is about to beat one of WWE's best. Cena is too distracted by Brock Lesnar on the horizon. He's got to focus on surviving. His shoulders are down. And Cena pops the shoulder up. Gonna take more than that. And look at the quickness by Cena. strike. If you're Brian Danielson, what do you do at this point as he whips yeah. Cena across the ring? Oh, Cena gets up a boot just in time. And now John Cena looking to take ah. over. Looking up. Oh. Brian Danielson where he wants him. And here's the cover. And he got him. Cena with the win over Brian Danielson. We lost our first match, but I didn't lose. The computer did. A lot of guys would have parlayed competitive matches on heat and velocity into being signed full-time to WWE, but that's not how things turned out. It's like my wife Bree likes to say, if anything was easy for me, I wouldn't be Daniel Bryan. But before I could become Daniel Bryan, I was Bryan Danielson. And as Bryan Danielson, I went on quite the run through the Indies. Over the course of seven years, I won my first world championship and had some amazing matches against guys who went on to become major WWE superstars. Guys like Seth Rollins, Cesaro, all sorts of guys all over the place. A lot of hardcore fans even say these were some of the best matches of my career. Personally, I credit these matches and opponents for helping me build the foundation I would later need to make it as a WWE superstar. Fans on the indie scene weren't the only ones who took notice, because in 2010, WWE re-signed me and Daniel Bryan was officially born. My name is Daniel Bryan. I've been wrestling all over the world, and finally, finally, I have an opportunity here in the WWE. Although much like childbirth, as I've heard from my wife, this was also a somewhat painful experience. I came back as part of NXT, which wasn't like the NXT that you know and love today. At the time, NXT was a reality show with rookies and pro mentors. Unfortunately, my pro was The Miz. People will say that you're great, that you're a star, that you're ready for the WWE. Do you think you're ready? Yes, yes I do. But one thing you have to learn about the WWE is you have to expect anything. I guess he misses by beating a little bit of respect into his NXT rookie. Believe it or not, we didn't get along very well back then either. I think the most ridiculous thing we had to do in NXT was the obstacle course. Okay, so you're gonna do the monkey bars. Then we go in the ring and juggle. Juggle. Then you're gonna see how fast you can drink soda. Side note, it was actually supposed to be a hot dog eating contest. When they realized I was vegan and they didn't have any vegan hot dogs, they turned it into a soda drinking contest. I didn't know vegans could drink soda. Not drink at all. I hadn't drank any soda in years. Think, watching that on TV, a grown man just drinking soda from a cup. That's it. Despite that, I did have the tremendous opportunity to show the WWE Universe what I was capable of when I got to face the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. Why to Jay? I loved watching Chris Jericho from the time I was in high school. The stuff that he did in WCW. I love Why to Jay. The World Champion on NXT on the first show. Win, lose, or draw. That elevates you, and I was very thankful for that opportunity. We're on the inaugural episode of NXT, the World Heavyweight Champion Chris Jericho 
taking on the Miz's rookie, Daniel Bryan. I've been looking forward to this main event. <laughs> WrestleMania is on the horizon, but tonight is a, a WrestleMania of sorts for all the NXT rookies. Well, Daniel Bryan was excited earlier in the night to be out on the biggest stage of his life, but that was before he knew he was going to face the World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to have to learn to take Miz's advice if he wants to survive here. You got to believe this one's over. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be good. You know, Daniel Bryan comes out here and says he's been wrestling all over the world. But honestly, who cares? I've never heard of him until he showed up at NXT. Well, the things you've never heard of could fill the entire internet, Cole. All the WWE pros have heard of Daniel Bryan. This guy's been competing on the independent scene for 10 years. Daniel Bryan's ready to go in a lot of people's opinion. I mentioned how Daniel Bryan's gained some traction on the independence, but I think you're still dumbfounded. Go find a computer, man. Invest in some research. Be a broadcast journalist like myself. So wait a minute, Corey. Just because this guy's wrestling on a high school gym in front of what? 50 people? I'm supposed to be impressed? You're sounding like the rest of these internet guys posting and blogging, believing in what you read on the dirt sheets. Nail it. Debilitating elbow drop. I have to admit the NXT rookies have been fairly feisty tonight with their WWE pros, to say the least. But there's been no bigger offender than Daniel Bryan. Bit of ungratefulness shown on the part of Daniel Bryan. This he goes for the cover. There's no way that Jericho's going to lose to this guy. Yeah, but the way this match is going, it's a real possibility. Oh. Jericho, though, needs a breather, and he rolls out of the ring to try to do that. A wise maneuver from a wily veteran. Uh, I'm not sure if Jericho's going to get much rest time. What is this guy Bryan? doing? Daniel Bryan! Oh. Suicide dive right off the announce desk. Looks like Bryan might have bounced off the announce desk himself. I don't think Miz liked the fact that Bryan threw his body in harm's way, and I, I can't say I blame him. What's this guy thinking? Wait a minute. Back now inside the ring. Look at Jericho strutting around like a proud in-house rooster. I'm not trying to get nothing. Damn. You know, Byron, I have to wonder if Daniel Bryan is still thinking about earlier tonight when his pro mentor, Miz, slapped him across the face. Well, any man that gets slapped has got to carry that embarrassment for some time. Especially with it coming on your first day on the job. Is that something Yoshi Tatsu taught you, Byron? Miz did say he was going to slap some personality into his rookie. Bringing it back into the ring. Here we go, Daniel Bryan is in position. See if he takes the bait. Guys, you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, yeah. Some sort of oh, miracle. boy. See, I told you. Oh, boy. This one's over now. Roll him into the walls of Jericho. Tap him out, Chris. Bryan's trying to fight it. Rolls through. What a counter by the technician, Daniel oh, Bryan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Got to be impressed, Michael, from what we're seeing from Daniel Bryan. Did Daniel, he win yet, Byron? Daniel Bryan thinks he. Oh, breaker! 
You can't allow a veteran like Jericho any time to recover. You're right, Corey. That was a rookie move. And now he's going to pay for it, Byron. That may, very well may be the case, Michael. This loser's going to lose again. Uh, Lion Tamer. Can Brian hold on? Tap out, nerd. We lost our second match against my favorite, Y. 2J, why 2J? Heavyweight champion would solidify my status in WWE, right? Nope. Just a few months later, I was released. For those of you keeping track, at home, this was the second time I was released by WWE. I thought this time I might be done with WWE for good. But not long after my release, I returned to SummerSlam. When WWE called me, they said, hey, if you want to come back, that's for the main event of SummerSlam. Main eventing SummerSlam, it's just super cool. Old school pay-per-views. Still holds special meaning. Not long after SummerSlam, my strained relationship with The Miz picked up right where it left off. Let me tell you something, I'm the pro, I am the talent. The Miz is almost a perfect adversary for me because we are so polar opposite. The one thing I do respect about Miz, he works very, very hard. You and me, US Championship match. Yes or no? Yes. We had our first match against each other at Night of Champions 2010 for the United States title. Look at the Miz. He's worked hard, he's charismatic, he's smart. He's Mr. Money in the Bank, and he's the United States Champion. Well, Michael, he may not be one of those things if he lands in Daniel Bryan's label lock. Bryan faced Miz in a submission match on Raw, and he made Miz tap faster than a heavy metal drummer. If that happens tonight, we'll have a new United States Champion. Miz was saving himself. Oh, perfect kick. Elbow finds its mark. Oh, close line. Drop kick. Great athleticism. We just playing with Miz. Between his championship, his briefcase, and his media obligations, Miz is slipping just a little here. He'll bounce back. Dropkick hits the mark. Up the turnbuckle goes Daniel Bryan. This looks to be a barn burner, gentlemen. These two guys hate each other. Corey, come on. The Miz is WWE's fastest rising star, and Daniel Bryan is a nerdy vegan. Bryan's got no chance here tonight. The Miz is looking in this. I can't even do nothing. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. Michael may have ragged on Daniel Bryan's diet, but that quote-unquote nerdy vegan is WWE's most effective submission expert. And Miz is as crafty as the day is long. That makes for a pretty interesting confrontation. Wow! Elbow! Whoa! Down he goes! That was impressive, Cole. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Here we go, Get your bitch ass up, nigga. Position. 
He'd be wise to stay right there. Whoa! Come on, man. Oh, huge big boot. And I'm Chris Hardy. Better than the Miz, but just look at what he's done since dumping Daniel Bryan. He's defended the United States Championship on pay-per-view, formed a tag team with Chris Jericho, and defeated seven men to win Money in the Bank. Hey, and that's impressive, but if Daniel Bryan was given those same kind of opportunities, he could be a tag team champion and a Money in the Bank winner. Here we go. He was a tag team division. champion and the Money in the Bank. No, he didn't win the Money in the Bank. Better he was just right a where he is. Look out! Shit. Byron, you really ticked me off with that comment about the Miz being given opportunities like money in the bank. He earned the Daniel Bryan. This is gonna be big. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. Man, the Miz is getting on my nerves, man. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over until it's over. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Pinfall attempt here from Daniel Bryan. Every title's on the line here tonight at Night of Champions. The Miz did. Ooh. This is all but over. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. Ooh, that kick could be a game changer. Boom, what impact. This might be it. Oh, my. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. The two of you discussed Miz's longer title reign resume than Daniel Bryan, but I have to point out that Daniel Bryan just did something Miz hasn't done yet. He main evented SummerSlam. I mean, come on, Daniel Bryan stole that spot at SummerSlam after John Cena begged the Miz to join his team. Also, when Miz wins here and then cashes in later tonight, he'll have plenty of main events in his future. Uh, you got to believe this one's over. The Miz's grasp on the United States. I'm tired of doing the same move over and over again. No, Miz can't lose here tonight. Not like this. Thank you. Boom, what impact. Well, what happens if the, if the Miz comes up short here? Here's the pin title on the line. Another pick of the moves he saw in that match. Here is your winner, and still the United States champion. We're going to end the video right there. Daniel Bryan gave it his all, but the Miz remains champion. Fuck the Miz.